Hi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time stopping by. In today's video we will be cleaning and organizing. Now there's just a couple of areas in my house that is just driving me crazy so I thought let's just take the time and get it done. If you have any areas in the house please leave it in the comments so I know which areas is bothering you as well. Now the very first thing I'm going to do is just get a load of laundry on because that can wash in the background while we start tackling the rest of the house. Let's get started. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Now the first room that we clearly have to tackle here is the playroom. This, however, was my son Jamie's um, decoration, so we won't be touching that and the window so will not get a dust because he's extremely proud of the decor he's created over here. So I'm just going to put all the toys back in the right boxes and then we're actually going to tackle the craft box. Now the rest of the boxes are quite organized with specific types of toys in each box and between the boys and myself we seem to maintain these quite well which is why I will always recommend these calic boxes. But the craft box has gotten completely out of hand. All the markers and the pencils and everything is just jammed in there between the paints and the glitters. So I just want to spend a couple of minutes just to sort that out. In the end, of course, it only took about 10 minutes, but it's been bothering me for well over two months. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Want to see it now. and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday So as you can see here, everything has literally just been thrown into this box and it really makes no sense and is actually quite unusable at this point. So what I'm going to do is pull everything out and just group similar things together. So all the pencils will go together, all the markers, all the paint, all the glitters, etc. And then I'm going to put each in a bag so it makes it very easy when the kids want to do a certain activity just to pull out the bag. They can use the items, we can throw it back in the bag and put it back into the craft box and hopefully that'll sort of maintain the order for a little while at least. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away. Moving on to the lounge, the first thing I'm going to do is clean those glass tables. Now this is not something that I do once a day, it's actually something I do more than once a day most days. Um, on this occasion I actually only had to use the glass cleaner as they weren't so much dirty as they just had fingerprints on it. I'm also going to add a couple of bunnies, so I have this wooden one and I also have a couple of ceramic ones just to add that sort of spring Easter touch to um, the lounge. I'm also going to make sure to light my amazing candle from Wickford & Co that I got from Home Bargains. It's in the carrot cake scent and I would definitely recommend it. Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run, this is what we waited for. Oh, I'm done living life with the lights 
Earlier on in the video, I emptied out the vacuum cleaner. Now, every time I do that, I use these sand boosters. I put a little on the floor and I vacuum them up. And they will obviously stay in the vacuum cleaner until the next time I empty it out. But every time that you start up the vacuum, they get heated up and they release this amazing scent throughout the house. So maybe just a little hack that you might want to try out as well. Couple hours from Japan, would you stay away? Losing touch of who I am when you're far away And I feel like I'm running in circles around you mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while But I want you close these faux flowers from Shein and they were extremely affordable and they look so realistic. I think it's because each tem sort of contains different phases of bloom on them so they look super realistic. So I just spent about 30 seconds just making sure that all the branches and flowers are pulled in different directions just to make it a little bit more realistic um, and I absolutely love the impact that it gives to the whole room. As part of my Shein order, I also ordered these three pillowcases that are kind of spring Easter inspired and I absolutely love them. So I'm just going to add them to the room as well, just to give that little bit of affordable spring touch. You know I'm on your side, and I feel like I'm running in circles around you. Moving on to the master bedroom which just needs a general tidy up, a quick dust and a vacuum. Now you'll see me here going around spraying the disinfectant spray on all the areas, leaving it for a couple of minutes and then I actually go back to wipe it down. I don't know if you've ever read the instructions on the disinfectant spray but it actually only disinfects after five minutes. Now I'm not a believer that every surface in your house obviously needs to be disinfected, it just needs to be cleaned but every now and again I like to spray it and just leave it to make sure that it get it's at a bit more of a deep clean I've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall My little helper for today, toddler Aiden, made this little ceramic handprint um, with his child minder and I just love it. I just put my wedding ring and my engagement ring in there at the moment. It just makes me so happy every single time I see it. I just think it's so sweet. beautiful stars, I want to take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. I 
Okay, moving on to the dreaded makeup draws. Now, these were organized for a good 12 months, but in the last three months, it's just gotten really out of hand. In the mornings, when I'm trying to do my makeup and get the kids ready for school and Aiden is fighting for my attention, it's just so difficult. And I think because I can't find anything, it just sets up my whole day wrong and it just sort of affects my mood. So I thought I'm just going to take a couple of minutes. I think it took about 30 minutes in the end to get everything organized here. Take everything out, clean out the, the little trays and put everything back in specific categories now i'm not aiming for pinterest worthy sort of beautiful decor yeah i'm just aiming for something that is practical user friendly so that i can just grab everything very quickly in the five to ten minutes that i have to do my makeup in the morning with all the boys running around Now that everything is out and everything is cleaned, we can start putting everything back in. So in the one side, I'm going to focus on getting most of the makeup items. So I have one sort of category for all my foundations and my concealers because with the dark circles going on because of lack of sleep, I cannot function without concealer. The next tray is sort of highlighters, bronzers and powders. And then I have all my eyeshadow palettes. I have all the eyeliners together and all the mascaras together and everything sort of lip related in one and then at the back I'm just going to put all of the nail varnishes that I have I don't tend to do my nails that often but I also don't want to get rid of it because every now and again I do fancy doing it in the second drawer we're focusing more on body and moisturizers so I have all the stuff that I use every day to the front and then the things that I don't use all that often in the back I also have all the brushes in this drawer because they just didn't fit in the drawer with the makeup and it doesn't really bother me because in the morning I do tend to open both drawers whenever I get ready because I will kind of put the foundation on then brush my teeth so that it can sink in and then I start doing my makeup so both drawers will be open anyway so as you can see here things are just nicely categorized together I know where everything is it's easy to grab it will really save me time it is quite sort of shocking how much time you waste just trying to find something now that is everything for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it and it gave you any motivation that you you might have needed if you did it would really mean the world to me if you can hit that subscribe button below with all that said i really hope to see you in my next one bye i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i just wanna feel the just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive.